Hey everyone, I hope everyone's doing well and staying safe these days. Here we are again with another video. This is the installing uh, Windows 10 on the Surface Go Laptop 2. Still can't figure out if it's Surface Go Laptop 2 or Surface Go 2 Laptop. <laughs> I, either way you want to say it. Here we are. Does Windows 10 actually run on this device? Uh, installation may actually work out, but will drivers work? Will everything else work? Will you run into blue screens of death upon boot up? I did actually experience that with the Surface Pro 8 during installation at one point, but it actually worked out in the end and I never had one since. So let's go ahead and see if it works out here. I did actually prep a little USB thumb drive and since this uh, particular laptop has a USB A port, no problem at all getting um, set up installed here. So let's go ahead and continue. One little note before we actually continue here, the touchscreen does not work at this time. That's gonna definitely come later, but the keyboard and touchpad actually work just fine. So let's go ahead and just click on install now over here. Obviously this uh, installation may actually take a while. So if that's the case, I'll go ahead and actually just speed through the installation here. You don't necessarily need to see five, 10, 15% go by ever so slowly. And uh, continuing the installation here, we're gonna go ahead and choose custom. There's gonna be a full installation from scratch. Over here, you're gonna see all the partitions here. Um, this laptop did previously come initially with Windows 11. And I'm gonna go ahead and just basically just wipe out all those partitions here. So here we go. Actually, first of all, before you do that, just make sure that all the drives are all the same, drive zero. You don't wanna accidentally delete the partition that's on your USB thumb drive, which usually does not happen, but just uh, keep that in mind. You know, uh, I actually have heard cases of this uh, previously happening, even though Mm, not any time too recent, so let's go ahead and delete all these partitions. We're going to be left with one whole partition, the 128 gigabytes that this particular laptop has. And I'm just going to click on next to start this installation. So let me go ahead and speed through this portion right here. Very likely it's going to require one or two reboots, one for sure. And once we're at the start screen, I'll continue. here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Installation actually only took about not even like five to eight minutes, which is actually really quick considering this is actually a four gigabyte memory model, the base model here of this particular device here. So let me go ahead and go through the entire uh, setup process here and meet you at the end.
Looks like here we are. The Windows 10 setup actually took maybe just a little under 10 minutes. The entire process, including the little uh, customization and setup process as well too. You can actually see here, uh, start menu and everything appears to be working just fine. I'm not connected to the internet, so these icons all look like they're still pending to download. And uh, let me just go ahead and just uh, mess around here a little bit. I do notice that the touch screen still doesn't work and that's to be expected. If it wasn't working in the beginning, probably not gonna work now until I get some drivers downloaded and installed. And uh, let me just go ahead and just mess around a few things here. So it looks like uh, Windows 10 this should be able to run just fine here, but wait, that's not it. I'm going to actually go ahead and download some updates and uh, see what else pops up here. Hopefully I don't have any blue screens of death or anything like that, but I'll definitely let you know if I do see anything like that. Just uh, changing themes around here and there we go. Messing around some stuff, edges installed, all the other default stuff here. I just uh, put on some desktop icons just because I'm used to it. I'm gonna go ahead and remove a couple of stuff here. Install Office and everything else, get some updates installed and let's see how it runs. Well, I got all the Windows 10 updates out available at this time. And uh, you can actually see that it probably is prompting me for just one little more that basically just uh, probably kicked in uh, about a day or two ago. But all in all, the updates I don't believe actually took uh, over maybe any between uh, 10 to 20 minutes. And I don't believe it actually took any more than that. It was basically about one to two reboots, which is actually not so bad for a new system running uh, Windows updates for the first time. But basically everything kicked in. Uh, the touchscreen uh, almost started kicking in almost after the very first update and uh, everything else seems to be running pretty well. I have to say Windows 10 is actually running pretty spot on. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little reboot test over here. You can see that there's actually an update available, no big deal. And the device is uh, running pretty well so far. I went ahead and installed Office, uh, another browser as well too. So I'll go ahead and uh, give you the whole gist of that as well. The device uh, definitely does turn on pretty speedy. Um, which is actually really impressive for just a base model, four gigabytes of RAM, which obviously just should just be really be a crime on any particular laptop these days. Uh, I believe the minimum will probably be six or eight if you want to be a little reasonable. But here we are, the device is uh, up and running again. I'll go ahead and uh, increase the brightness here to a little bit higher, there we go. And uh, just start opening up some browsers. So I'll probably open up uh, Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word as well too. So let's see, here goes Excel opened up as long as you don't have any plugins and add-ons here. Here's Word as well too. So you can see everything's running pretty speedy for the most part. If I go ahead and open up Task Manager, you'll see the memory is probably hopping around 80 to 90%. Right here we have about 84%, which is uh, pretty to be expected for four gigabyte model. Already opened up a couple of applications here. How does this device uh, actually perform in general? Uh, again, the only limitation I do have here in the bottleneck, if you want to call it that, is just basically the, the low amount of memory. The good news is if you actually watch the boxing of the Surface Go 2 laptop, you'll see that uh, this actually has an actual SSD, which is running at pretty much uh, pretty good speeds here, you know, almost about one gigabyte uh, read, uh, two gigabytes write, somewhere in between those numbers. The When compared to other base devices like the Surface Go 2 or 3, you're gonna run into a little bit of a disappointment when you actually see that the SSD speeds are hitting at like 250, not even 500 megabytes a second, which is a little disappointing for the uh, base model. This also being the base model is actually really concerned that I was gonna run into that particular issue here as well, because it's running uh, not really an SSD, but some sort of memory uh, based hard drive there, which is not ideal, but obviously cheaper to put into a base model, not the case here and you'll see it definitely does pay off running Windows 11, or in this case, running Windows 10. Everything seems to be uh, running pretty well so far. I'll go ahead and uh, bring up a system here for you, and you'll see it's just some basic details here as well. Obviously running Windows 10 home. Um, there's, a, of course, your Surface Go 2 uh, laptop here, and uh, basically everything else that you'll expect to see when you're actually using this on the Windows 10. So. Um, I didn't actually experience any blue screens of death during the entire update process. Um, if uh, I think I'll definitely let you know. When I was actually doing this on the Surface A Pro tablet, 
I ran to a blue screen of death um, just after per, uh, basically processing a couple updates and the device was updating and rebooting and poof it just happened. No issues here. Again, also uh, the touch screen does not work by default. Not a problem because you do have a touchpad and keyboard to work with. So that's definitely not a problem at all. The backlight definitely does work as well too. And you can also go ahead and download the Surface, um, the Surface app from the Microsoft Store and basically everything else you'd want to use as well too. So no problem there either. So to answer your question, if you're really interested about running Windows 10 or just curious about running it on the uh, Surface Go laptop over here uh, too, it absolutely is possible and really just runs without a hitch and pretty much no hiccups during the entire process. Just get your Windows 10 installation on USB thumb drive, plug it in right here, and you should pretty much be all set. It makes it much easier that you do have a, a standard USB type A port over here running at 3.1 speeds and uh, very useful to just get it up and running. Um, no issues uh, with uh, hard drive, recognizing hard drives or anything like that. Everything seemed to be pretty much a uh, smooth installation and just one or two updates, uh, reboots uh, regarding Windows updates. And of course, I have another one over here as I just showed you, and you're pretty much good to go. Is it something ideal that Microsoft probably wants you to do? Hmm, considering that they uh, really want to promote their new operating system, Windows 11, that unfortunately just keeps running into more little bugs here and there in terms of updates. I believe very recently there was one where it was uh, kind of messing up with either antivirus or USB printers again, which is, I mean, seriously, how many times has that happened already? But in the end, it's really up to your own personal decision which one you prefer to use. If uh, you're not a big fan of the new operating system, if you, you still feel like it's got some more tweaks and whatnot, that's kind of my viewpoint at this point. Um, then yeah, I mean, you definitely do have the option to use Windows 10 here. No one's forcing your hand to use Windows 11 just because it came with it. So feel free to download the Windows 10 image from Microsoft site. Uh, they do have a little tool there. You'll need a USB thumb drive, about eight gigabytes minimum. Plug it in, run the tool. It'll download everything for you. About 10 to 12 minutes later, you're all set to go. Plug it into your device. In this case, the Surface Go Laptop 2 here and you are all set to go to uh, get your Windows 10 operating system up and running here. Well, I hope everyone found this video useful. Definitely shoot a like and subscribe if you found it informative and useful and entertaining. Uh, by all means, uh, go ahead and shoot a comment or a question if you have any uh, feedback you'd like to get from me or even give. I'll be more than happy to uh, listen to you and answer as many questions as I possibly can. Thanks again for watching everyone and as always, be safe. Take care, all right?